Hello. Uh, today uh, <laughs> we are going to show you the operation of a single phase induction motor. How we can generate a rotating magnetic field in single phase induction motor. Uh, to start uh, this single phase induction motor, as you are aware that when we energize a single phase induction motor uh, that is not having a starting winding, it, it produces a field that is a pulsating nature. That, uh, in other words, we can say that the single phase induction motor does not have a starting torque by itself. Right? For that, we are using some different techniques to start the single phase induction motor. One of the techniques we are using is capacitor start, capacitor run single phase induction motor. Uh, today, we are going to do the same. Uh, you can see in front of me, I am having a uh, single phase induction motor, uh, which is up a uh, one half power rating. You can see it's 220 volt rated. And you can see on the top, I am having this running winding. Right? I am having this running winding, which is put uh, on the stator. Right, I am having a capacitor and I am having a starting wind. That means using this capacitor and the starting, uh, the combination of these two in series, I can make overall start auxiliary winding for this motor, which will be helpful in starting this induction motor. First, I will show you. You can see uh, I, I will energize this running winding by a single phase 220 volt source. You can see which is coming from here. Single phase power supply available here to up to 20 volts, which can be regulated by this knob. First, uh, what I will do, I will energize only this running winding. You can see when I will energize only this running winding, I will start the supply. Yeah, and you know that the field induced that will be of alternating in nature. You can see the pulsating type. Uh, in nature, the positive and negative cycle will uh, <coughs> will cancel out each other, and you can see, and you can you see you see that uh, this motor will not start; it will only vibrate. And if I will put it in a particular direction, and in that uh, direction the torque will uh, the, in that direction the torque will increase, and it will start running in that direction. Right after that, what we will do? We will connect this uh, this auxiliary winding. Now you can see the starting winding with this running winding and it, it must start at its own. So first we will first energize the running winding. I have connected the running winding connection. I will turn on the sensor. You can see I have applied some voltage. You can see it's only vibrating. Now you can see it's not running in any direction. You can see if I am pushing it in this direction, you can see the induction motor has the single phase induction motor has started uh, running in more fast direction by pushing by manual pushing. Right. After that, what I can do? I will show you one, uh, one more case. If I will remove the supply, if I will remove the supply, I will apply. You can see this mechanical braking to stop this motor. Now, I will repeat the same process. I will repeat the same process. I will energize it. It was, it was having some issue. I will stop it. You can see. Now, in this, now. I will push now in the, in the, you can see it has now started running in clock in the reverse direction which it was running in previous case. So in this way we can manually start this one way to manually start a single phase back motor. Right? So I will reduce the voltage. But in industry you will not uh, in normal op 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 operation, you will not always choose this way to start a single phase induction motor, you have to push it. Right, for that we make we have different techniques to start this single phase induction motor. One of the technique among these is the capacitor start, capacitor induction motor, which I have discussed with you. We have a starting one on the capacitor. What what it will does, it will start this induction motor. After that, we can remove the auxiliary winding. So uh, uh, let's uh, do the connections connections for the same. So what I will first I will do, I will connect this capacitor. And this starting winding in series, you can see now I have given series combination of this magnetic capacitor and this series combination will be connected in parallel across this running winding. So what I will do, so this terminal of the capacitor which is here, I will connect it here and the another terminal of this series combination I will connect it here. So what I have done, I have made this auxiliary winding, which is a series combination of the starting winding and this capacitor. I have connected their combination in parallel with this running winding. What it will does, it will establish another current that will have almost a 90 degree phase shift with the, uh, the running uh, winding current and it will try to start the induction motor by itself. So let's see what will happen. I have connected. Now I will increase the voltage. 
you can see motor has started by itself motor has started itself in a particular direction this is how we can create a rotating magnetic field in a single phase induction motor and start it now see i will show you one thing first now if i will remove if i will remove this auxiliary winding it must not stop you see i have removed the auxiliary winding connections but the motor is still running because it will it requires only it requires only the starting winding for starting purpose rest it will run only the small difference will be on the power factor because initially there was a capacitance with which this power factor make it reduced right so this was one case after removing the auxiliary winding it, it is running in a particular direction now i i will see if using this auxiliary winding if you want to reverse if you want to reverse the direction of the motor what you need to do this was the initial connection the starting winding right now if you want to reverse the direction of this single phase induction motor right well uh, with having connected the auxiliary winding for that what we need to do you need to do either you have to reverse the connections you have to reverse the terminals of this running winding or you have to reverse the terminals of auxiliary winding now what i will do for that see uh, what i have done the, the terminal which was initially connected here what i will do first i will stop it and you must know down that it was running in four five direction for this connection you see what i will do it was uh, connected in this fashion what i will do these are my auxiliary winding terminal connections what i will do i will interchange the terminals with it, it these uh, terminal connection with rest with running winding i will connect this terminal to here and this terminal to here what i have done i have interchanged the terminal so auxiliary winding with rest with running winding right now i must observe one thing when i will increase the voltage it must run in the reverse direction as it was running in the previous case you can see i am increasing the voltage see now running in the opposite direction so this was all about how we can set up the rotating magnetic field in a single phase induction motor using the starting winding and how we can interchange the direction of the rotation thank you